Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to record your desktop screen whether it's for YouTube, gaming, or even just a presentation you might have to make and it's all going to be 100% free. I know I made the exact same video about a year ago but that's gotten pretty outdated and it's still getting a lot of views so I thought I would make an updated version. Anyways it would be super awesome if you guys could drop a like and maybe even subscribe if you did end up enjoying this video as it will let me know that I should upload more videos like these. If you are new to my channel and want to check out my other tutorials then be sure to check out my channel as we've got quite a few of my videos categorized in playlists which should be pretty helpful for you. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to Google or whatever search engine you actually use, whether it's Yahoo, Google, Bing, or whatever. And from there, all you want to do is type in OBS. And uh, if nothing comes up, then all you have to do instead is search for open broadcaster software. So literally this, like these first three words. From there, just go ahead and click on the first link. And so for this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do this on Windows, but the same steps apply for Mac and Linux. So don't worry about looking for a different video as this video should still work anyways. But once you've gotten to this website, all you have to do is just click on the download OBS Studio button. And from here, what you want to do is just select your operating system, whether it's Windows, OS X, or Linux. And since I am currently on Windows 10, I can go ahead and click on the Windows 7 or above version. From there, once you click on it, it should bring up this like dialog page, or it might just automatically download to your downloads folder. But from here, just save your installer wherever you want to save it. It might take a bit to actually download, it's only going to take me a couple of seconds. And uh, so once your download actually does finish up, all you have to do is just close out your web browser because you don't need that anymore, and then from there just double click on the installer. You might get a page kind of like this asking you if you want to allow the app to make your changes, so just go ahead and click on yes. From here you can click on next. I agree. From here you're basically going to just be picking where you want OBS to download to. I'm fine with it where the default location is, so just click on next. From here, make sure both of these are checked, click on install, and from there you should be good to go with installation and just let it finish up by itself. And so once you're actually done with this, just go ahead and make sure this little box is checked, click on finish, go ahead and click on okay, and from here you're going to actually see OBS pop up on your screen. And so now you actually have some new like little interface here, but before you actually like start messing around with this, I just want to say it's okay if you want to actually uninstall or basically recycle the installer file. What you do want to keep is this file that does show up on your desktop, and if you don't want it on your desktop, that's fine you can also delete that and you can just look for it whenever you type in obs down here and as you can see it's right here but now that i've covered all that stuff we're actually going to start with the bread and butter of the program so once you actually do get onto the program you're going to see a black screen and this is basically where your actual desktop screen would show up if you were actually recording something so to record something make sure you actually have a scene so what you want to do is just click on the plus button right here add a scene and if you already have a scene then you don't have to do anything about that so i already did have a scene so i'm just gonna quickly delete the scene one by clicking the minus button and then click on yes to actually add a source to record your actual desktop what you want to do is right click in the blank space and then click on add and from here what you do want to click on is going to be display capture and from here once you actually click on display capture you can name it whatever you want so i can just go ahead and name it monitor from here just go ahead and click on okay and as you can see now you have my monitor and it's kind of showing up in like a train of things but from here you can actually pick what monitor you want to be recording whether that's your second monitor or your first monitor depending on how many monitors you have you can also pick if you want to capture your cursor or not and from, and from here all you have to do is just click on okay and as you can see now we're officially recording my screen so if i make it bigger it's kind of like a weird inception type of thing you can also resize your screen if you want to but uh, let's just ignore that and keep it where it is from here we're actually going to go into the settings so what you want to do to actually go to the settings is just click on the little settings button right here and from here you're going to see a bunch of things don't get frightened by it it's actually really simple from here you can basically pick your language if you speak a different language go ahead and select that from here you can also pick your theme if you do want to so i like dark so i'm just gonna click that and click apply i feel like it looks cooler and doesn't really hurt my eyes as much and since this video is going to be about recording we're not going to cover the stream aspect of it this program does allow you to stream to youtube and twitch amongst other sites as well um so basically the output is where we're going to be messing with your recording settings and what you want to do is make sure that your output mode is on simple. There is an advanced version, which I can make a tutorial on if you guys do want me to, but I feel like that's just going to be a lot of work for people who just want to get the basics of it. So just click on simple, and from here you don't have to worry about anything that's in the streaming part right here. What you do want to worry about is the recording part. The first thing that I want you guys to do right away is change the recording format to F from FLV to MP4. MP4 is almost compatible with any editing software, so you should be more comfortable with MP4 compared to FLV. The next thing that you want to do is actually set where you want your recordings to go so if i click browse i can actually pick where i want my recordings to go so if i was to make a new folder on my desktop right now and i'm just going to keep it named new folder and i can change my recording path to that so right here new folder and then click select folder now everything i record will actually go to that folder and then whenever i want to watch my gameplays or my videos i can just go to that folder and watch them and for your recording quality you want to click on this you don't want to use same as stream you either want to use high quality indistinguishable quality or lossless quality the last two are actually going to take up a lot of file space and they're going to be pretty cpu intensive so if you have a normal 
normal computer, probably a lower end one. I highly recommend just doing high quality instead of anything above that. Don't worry about this warning because that warning only applies if you're actually doing streaming and recording at the same time, but in this case, we're not going to be doing that. And right here, we're actually going to be able to mess with the encoder. So if you have a normal computer, please keep it on x264. But if you have an older end computer or a lower end computer, go to low CPU usage preset. It is going to increase your file size, but it's going to make your games lag less when you're recording and basically your whole computer in general is just going to lag much less than it normally would. And from here, you're basically good to go. But I'm actually going to make mine indistinguishable quality because I do have a pretty solid computer. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's actually a pretty solid computer. But as I said before, if you have a lower end computer, just keep it on high quality and change this to software low CPU preset. But I'm actually going to put it back on the normal one because as I said before, I really do want my videos to be high quality. From there, just click on apply, click on OK. And if you did want to actually add your mic, all you have to do is just click on the settings thing right here, click on properties. And from here, you can actually select your actual microphone attached to your computer. So right now, my Blue Yeti is actually attached to my computer. So if I click OK, as you can see, whenever I talk, the green bar does go up and I can actually lower the volume too. So it's not as loud as, loud as it would be. If I want to mute my desktop audio, I can drag it all the way down and you won't hear anything on my desktop. If I want to mute my mic all the way, now you can't hear me talk. Or I can just click on these buttons right here and they basically do the same thing. But once you're done with that, all you have to do is just click on start recording to actually start recording your screen. And I'm basically just going to do a test thing. So I'm just going to move this around. And right now my screen is actually being recorded. So if I was to minimize this, maybe bring over my like iTunes page that I have open right here. And I can show you guys that for a second. Now I can move that away. And when you're done recording, all you have to do is just open it up again. And then just click on the stop recording button. Once it says stopped recording and all that's good to go, you can go back to your destination where your video would be saved that you set in your settings. And if we double click this, we'll actually be able to see the video being played. As you can see, I'm just dragging along in the timeline and it's actually doing what I just showed you guys I was doing. And there's also a glitch that sometimes happens when it's just going to be a black screen when you're recording a game gameplay or something. So to fix that, instead of doing a game capture, what you want to do is do a display capture. Almost 9 times out of 10, just go ahead and do the display capture. It's going to be better than the game capture by far. So that's really it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to share this video with your friends and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. Because I am on my way to 21,000 subscribers. I might even hit it by the time I'm uploading this video but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in my next video also please be sure to leave a like because i really did want to make updated video for you guys because i know a lot of you guys have been talking about it so i hope i could have helped you guys out but other than that i'll see you guys next time peace